All right, so it's a big one. And you guys seen me letting the air out of the tires. I'm gonna need all I got on this one because it's a big truck and I'm doing the roof on it. So we went ahead and put this whole unisite on. This is an aluminum. And in order to do that the correct way, you gotta replace the roof on this. So we're gonna be shooting this one here. It's only this part of it. This thing ended up running underneath like a, a, a bridge embankment or something and just tore up this whole section here. So this is all that this job is, but it's gonna be a big one and uh, we'll spray it together on this one. So. And then we're spraying this side here because it got a little nicked up when we did the uh, roof panel. So just a bigger, taller job. So I need every bit I can get guys because I don't have, uh, you know, long legs. I'm not the tallest guy, but we'll get it done. And uh, let's go ahead and start sealing it and then shooting it. So this is seven uh, J7. and we're ready to go so we're gonna start the sealer here soon and I'm using my uh, Valeria on this one for the sealer so it's got the one four in it but we're gonna be tight on this roof it's gonna be tough reaching across it We're going to be moving to the base now and this code is j7 and uh, we're going to be using the 3m gun with the 14 in it so the biggest part of these jobs is just getting a rhythm on how you want to go around the vehicle and once you start doing that you'll build a pattern and it'll start to get easier on every time you put another code on so let's get into base in this one and uh, see how it comes out in the end coat of base on there we'll let that set up and like i told you i'm starting to get in more of a rhythm as i'm going around the truck so we'll let that flash and we'll put coat two on
right, so we'll drop it now and then we'll be clearing it with the CC200. So definitely a big job. Definitely you gotta get your stretching in on this one to uh, get around it and definitely not stick your arm in it. So I got my arm taped up for the clear. That way I don't get it in the uh, clear, guys. So let's go ahead and uh, base this one one more time with the drop coat and we'll be hitting it at about 10 PSI on the regulator and then we'll be going to the clear. it in the dark with the scan grip and this is the big one this really works well on big panels like that roof when you turn the lights off you can really see it well with that big light so it looks covered and uh, we're gonna be head go ahead and clearing this one with the uh, c2 on the db1 so the c2 caps a little bit faster and i like that better for when i'm up on the top of that roof so when i used to do old school roofs with single stage you just stay up there and when you got done, you were done with the job. So I'm sure some of you guys that have been in the business a long time know what I'm talking about. But we're going to go ahead and clear this one now. And if you like this one, give it a thumbs up. And hopefully it comes out nice, guys, because we shoot them live. It's not like I'm going back and fixing things up. So let's go ahead and clear this one. six ounces on that first coat and uh, I went ahead and mixed up some more for the next coat so far so good we don't have any big problems going on and I'm definitely working for this one so let's go ahead and give it the other coat the day's over because this is the last one of the day and I saved it for the end of the day that way it could just sit in here I'm not gonna bake it and let it dry overnight so definitely a big job definitely wore me out and uh, you guys see me uh, working hard for this one so but it came out really nice I'm happy with it couple nibs nothing major and uh, 
nice job. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you on the next video.